Welcome to SAC Chronicles, the series that explores sections vital to our strategic airlift operations. Today we invite you to take a peek into the fast-paced world of supply and to find out how our warehouses run. This women-dominated team deals with everything from a single screw to equipping our crew to operating heavy machinery. Follow me. This is probably the first job I've had in a while where I'm not the only female, so it kind of is cool to have people that I can talk to and people at least who relate to, to the struggles that I have. Issuing equipment most of the time, receiving items, putting things away, services, um, trainings. From oil to grease to adhesive to sealants. Name tags, business cards, doing inventories, keeping everything clean. Patches. Damaged, uh, broken, missing or stolen items. Making sure that the uh, flight crew has everything that they need to uh, go on the mission. Because without supply, bullets don't fly. responsible for um, ordering local purchase items. Okay, I'll double check the procurement and I'll let you know. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye-bye. I deal with a lot of people in this job. <laughs> Every request is different and special. It depends a lot on where it has to be purchased from, like Europe, United States, um, Papa. <laughs> I'm warrant officer Chupan Andrea. I come from Romania and here in the supply I am the hazmat uh, specialist. Hazmat is a hazardous material that includes from oil to grease to adhesive to sealants. Each airplane needs hazmat material. They are working with gas which is a hazmat material. They need grease so every, every maintenance of the aircraft includes hazmat materials. We are sitting in a spike. We are going to refill the container with the icing fluid. This is the liquid that's needed for um, taking the ice off the airplanes during winter time. responsible person for the reverse logistics and ammunition and I also uh, I am also SNR. I will pick up some ammunition for the Hawks and then we will come back and then I will give it to the Hawks and they can come to shoot this week. We are going oh, yeah. down to the ammunition storage and we will pick up the ammunition for the Hawks. Here is the request. So we have two types of ammunition that they need. We will now go, we will wait until we look at the improvement from the tower so we can cross the flight line and, and we are ready. <laughs> Sergeant Ward, I work in the individual equipment unit here at the supply warehouse. The part that I like the most, um, knowing that 
I play an important role in making sure that the flight crew is safe when they go out. You have to be very meticulous in your processing and how you organize things. You have to be very organized. Get ready to work really hard. The people are amazing. Uh, they're going to be the ones that keep you going most of the time. Um, have fun. Travel a lot once COVID is over. And just em embrace it. My name is Alan Samuelson, I work at the rec desk. Uh, with FMS purchase, so that means that we order stuff that are on stock from the United States and they either fly them here or ship them by boat. I like it a lot, I miss the snow from Sweden though. Hi, my name is Tanaf Sargent Cairo. Uh, I work at the rec desk. Welcome to the Hall Supply Warehouse. Here we house everything that you would need. It's just learning how to undo certain things that you know from the US side and trying to integrate the way the program works here. So you have to take bits and pieces of information and kind of make them work for the program. If you're looking for anything, Supply is here for you. Uh, please come see us and we'll do the best we can to help you with what you need. <laughs> As women, we think outside the box a lot of the times, so it brings creativity into the workplace, and we can make it. We can make it happen. This is my fourth first job with so many women, and it's awesome. <laughs> you have to get creative sometimes. Yes. <laughs>